All right, so basically this is what we... Now, do you see well there? Yeah, I see you, but uh, all this time uh, it's been really... Uh, I know. Cut. <laughs> tomorrow, tomorrow I'm going to go through a cable from outside the house because the, the place where I live is oh, actually okay. behind my mother's house. And the modem is actually okay. in my mother's. So I, I need to, I run, I got like 40 meters cable, that, an ethernet cable that I'm going to run all the way up. I mean, I don't have classes tomorrow, so I'm going to run a cable all the way from outside the house into this and I'm going to connect directly to the modem. So probably now, I'm, because I've had this problem with other students as well, so um, it's not new. I already have this problem with other students. As long as, as long as this can be clearly, I mean, it can be clearly seen. <clears throat> okay, so now let's talk, let's talk about uh, some aspect that we need to re be, we are really aware when, when we abort uh, the graphic or the data, the writing task, uh, the writing task uh, one, the data. Um, sometimes we face a problem and uh, this problem regards with the, the aspect that how am I going to abort the exercises if I have a different type of, of graphic? What do I do if I have a graphic? What do we do if I have a pie chart? What do I do if I have a table of information? Okay, so this is a very, very common uh, question that all the students have, and we have to actually clarify this. So first of all, when we talk about data, remember that in IELTS we have the data exercise in writing test one, all academics, the data, the process, and the object. This is about the data. Um, so in this case, what we have to do is, uh, let's say we have a graphic with like two lines, all right? When we have a graphic with two lines in the um, development of this, you know, in the developing paragraph, uh, we have to actually cut here and separate the, the blocks that we are going to describe. And we are going to describe the tendencies and also we are going to make uh, comparisons of those tendencies. So we uh, dedicate our work uh, and we separate the work into these blocks. And that's the way we are going to do it in the entire development. So that's the first case. Second case, what happens if we have, this is a case one, the most common, and the case number two, what happens if we have a graphic that has more lines? See, something like that. What we're going to do in the development, we are going to then, in the development paragraph, we are going to do this. We are going to dedicate ourselves to just worry and work with the first two, with the most significant two. See, we have a a significant uh, event that happened there and also we can do the cut right here when they start becoming narrow and what we are going to do is we are going to describe then the tendencies here and the comparisons of those tendencies the tendencies the tendencies the comparison the tendencies the tendencies the comparison so we are going to do that in the first part of the development that's what we're going to do now when we finish these comparisons and these tendencies and comparisons, then we are going to talk the whole in a very general form. We are going to dedicate the last part of the paragraph to actually, and we are going to write regarding the other, uh, for example, let's say that these are countries, right? regarding the other countries, the uh, tendencies were varied or were erratic, full stop, uh, or comma, going from this 
to approximately this in the higher or in the highest um, um, uh, levels or in the highest uh, percentages or in the highest numbers to this and this in their lower tendencies and finish. We do this very generally. Otherwise, if we try to describe everything, we try to cut everything and describe everything, we are not going to have time and it's going to be too long. It's going to be impractical, inefficient, uh, because it's too much information that we're trying to include. We don't have to describe everything and also it's going to be actually more difficult to do because we are going to run out of time and we are not going to be able to complete the task successfully. Probably we are going to be left without having a summary session at the end. So that's important to keep in mind and that's important to apply and all that. So that is the case uh, for that matter. So we need to keep this in mind and we have to apply in all our exercises. Okay? Let me record that.